I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. Spy Family is a new, wholesome shonen anime that clickbaits you harder than a bad YouTube thumbnail. Because when you watch the first episode, you would think it's all about spies, action, espionage, when really it's just a ploy so they could finally teach anime fans about childcare. Released April of 2022 by studio Cloverworks and Wit, Spy Family might as well come pre-ordered with success, being the most popular show this past spring, and one of the most popular shows this current season, even with steep competition like Chainsaw Man, Mob Psycho, and Bleach. Then again, no other show has Anya. So it makes sense. In this video, I will go over everything you need to know before starting part one of Spy Family season one. So you can just get right into watching it and not leave it on your watch list to wait for an eternity. Written and illustrated by Tatsuya Endo, we follow expert spy and disguise artist Twilight, working hard on missions to ensure peace between the two nations locked in a cold war, Westalius and Ostania. After facing countless dangers and the tensions rising between the nations, Twilight is now given a new mission named Operation Strix. Now under the alias of Lloyd Forger, his mission is to make a family. Yeah, I don't know what else you were expecting me to say. We're just upgrading from spy kids to spy family at this point. Really though, Lloyd needs to assemble a family so he can enroll a child in the prestigious Eden Academy, allowing him to get close to his target, Donovan Desmond. So Lloyd gets to assembling the perfect family. We get introduced to Anya, an esper that can read people's minds and an extremely adorable character whose facial expressions are on point, and her voice actor does an amazing job bringing the character to life. <laughs> And with the help of best wingman Anya and Lloyd's unspoken Riz, he marries a secret assassin and hitman, Your Briar, aka Briar Rose, who can pretty much kill any living thing she wants, but then fails at like everything else. Now, with the Forger family finally complete, Lloyd can start his work being a father. Since each of the family members keep secrets from each other, they tend to have their own side stories separate from them being together, like Lloyd completing spy work, Yor being an assassin, and Anya's school life, as well as helping out when she can. Spy Family really mixes the action and family moments well, which keeps it interesting to watch all the time. Spy Family has currently finished airing part one of their first season, which was earlier in 2022, that has 12 episodes. And after taking a short break, they have begun airing the second part as we speak. Season one in total will conclude with 24 episodes. The only platform streaming Spy Family is Crunchyroll, which is where I've been watching it. The anime is adapted from the Spy Family manga, with the manga being in nine volumes, eight of them available in English, and the first part of season one leaving off at volume three, chapter 17. There are two openings and two endings. The first opening is definitely good. The song is a banger and the visuals are more creative and I like them a lot. The second opening is just plain beautiful though. With them putting like 90% of the budget into them, it, I, like, I just love the autumn theme that they went with and the song is also just really good. Not as hype as the first, but fits with what they were going for. The endings aren't too crazy, the first one focusing on Anya and having a groovy song and cute visuals. But the second one I think is much better, with the song being more memorable and seeing the Forger family together is always nice. If you are going to watch Spy Family, you need to watch the sub, just for Anya's voice alone. Because the catchphrases are amazing. And I can't say enough how good the sub is. And while the sub is practically perfect, if you do prefer dub, then I think you're in luck because the dub is also really good. By helping, do you mean getting flour everywhere? 
Or was it when you stopped to eat some peanuts? <laughs> um, so tell me, Miss Anya, how do you spend your days off? Sometimes Papa has to lock me up inside, so I just kind of watch TV all alone inside. Really now? Sounds horrifying. We're on the family outing, la 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 la. It's pronounced outing. Mama, wanna hold hands? <gasps> Yes, that sounds delightful. So just watch whatever one you are more comfortable with. And here's all the notable ratings I could find for the show, as well as my own ratings. I couldn't find too many, but this is really all we need to see that the show is good. And as you can see, I gave it an 8 out of 10. I heard about Spy Family loosely before the anime release, and I definitely didn't expect it to reach the popularity it has. Although not to say it isn't deserved, because it definitely is, I like how the show manages its slice of life, wholesome elements with the action sequences, and it really adds to it. And seeing when the Forger family is together is always priceless. Although they are in a real family, they feel like one, and I'm excited to see where Operation Strix goes. I wouldn't have expected an anime where the literal theme is childcare to get to be so popular, but as we all know, anime has a way of making the weirdest concepts so cool. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Kill a Kill. So Spy Family is pretty normal in comparison, I think. So, do you think you'll consider watching Spy Family after this? Let me know if you will, and what you thought about this video in the comments down below. And make sure to like and subscribe, as the support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night.